Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Freedom Force. We are um, here to fight Pan and see if we can take him out um, and rescue Eve. We're going to see what we can do with El Diablo here. I can right, hear that's you. Not who I thought I was on. Let's see you go back over here again. Ready to rumble. You again. Mortal, you fatigue all right, me. I've already seen all this. But I will. get this health Stuff coming through. Ah, he missed. Now what is it? Not good. All right, I guess he's going to do some stuff. What 
Oh, you are so slow. I am restored. Okay. And now to stop you, Pan. Your impure form cannot survive being bound to the heart of nature. Feed Pan, Eve must survive, microwave must survive, all right. Five, that was it, huh? There's a little present for Man of War. Cooking. Recharge. What do we got panned down to now? 322. This guy's got a ton of hit points. Holy smokes. You're not gonna enjoy this!
Baba not a fighter, but for you, I'll make an exception. things up. Man of War is already at a razor thin. Only my bind power can stop him. Sunflower, why have you done this? I offered you the love of a god. The only thing you love is yourself, Pan. Very well, Peas Blossom. You have taken my heart. Now take my life. No. That is not our way. I only ask you to restore things as they were, and then to leave this world and never return. Very well. I'll take my leave, but I'll also take my memories. Keep an eye on this one, Freedom Force. She's a rose with many thorns. Great. 
great Gaia. What's happening? Dimensional teleportation detected. Entire population of island returning to Patriot City. Nature's bounty. Eve entity suffering from attack. May Microwave offer assistance? I'm all right. It's just as if the very Earth cried out in warning. Statement cannot be parsed. Syntax error. Explain. I can't explain it, but something terrible is about to happen, Microwave. And the fate of this very planet hangs in the balance. Alright, it took us two times to get through that one, but we did it. Um, beat Pan, saved the city, Eve survived, that's worth nothing, I guess. Um, got all of those. Bunch for enemies, no damage issues, got a bonus 100. Uh, bunch of people leveled up. All right, to the team. Alchemist has 820. I don't think she was one of the ones that leveled up. Maybe she was. We're going to buy that. Let's take a look at this. So a lot. Crushing damage, magnitude zero, energy cost 50, stun nothing, knockback extreme 37, 39 foot radius, holy smokes. And then purgatory, it's going to cost some points. Temporary banish an enemy from this plane of existence, wow. All right, bullet. It's 1200. We want that solid skeleton. And a fist flurry. El Diablo. Takes up all of his stuff. Knockback high, damage high, radius low, medium, accuracy is low. Just level that up. Goodbye, flaming fist. Eve. We're going to buy an acid arrow. Liberty Lad, Man of War, Man Bot. Hmm. I'm not sure that that is uh, ranged. Let's do energy leech. All right, what's release? Yep, it's just off of him. All right. Okay. Mentor, microwave. Saving up for clone self. I 
Minuteman, Sea Urchin, The Ant. All right, looks like we got everybody. Now let's watch our mission briefing for the next one. Actually, we could look at um, Super Collider. Cost nine grand. We can't get Super Collider. Order. Cost six. Law six. Iron Ox six. All right, mission briefing. Freedom Fortress, 0600 hours. The team gathers for a priority meeting. What weighty matters could draw the attention of Patriot City's protectors? It doesn't make any sense. Are we talking about precognition here? Fate? Not necessarily. Eve claims she received a warning from the Earth or Gaia herself. If Gaia is truly sentient, her knowledge would be so inconceivably great that it could approach the semblance of precognition. So, you're saying that the planet is telling Eve the future? Eve, you mind uh, asking Gaia who's going to win the playoffs this year? <laughs> well, excuse me if I don't get all flushed thinking about Eve's special abilities. I'll remind you, Freedom Force just kicked the honey of a Greek god. <laughs> If you no longer fear gods, then perhaps you will fear Time Master! Yes. It is he who Gaia warned of. In the heart of our base? How did you- A small parlor trick to one who controls time itself. Enough small talk. Hope that tin foil is flame retardant, muchacho. Huh. What have you done to him, you fiend? Conserve the melodramatics, Alchemist. You'll have need of them later. What do you want, Time Master? Want? Ah, a man bought. I have but simple needs. I want to live forever. Good for you. Join a gym. I can travel through time at will and send my victims along the time continuum at a whim. I can even summon the gods to fix my foes! Yet I cannot stop my own aging process. Before I became what I am now, I lived a life of science, dedicated to discovering a technological fountain of youth. But alas, the answer lay not in ourselves, but in the stars. When I became Time Master, I traveled the ages and interrogated countless sages, mystics, and wizards. Until I discovered the key, the celestial clock, the beating heart of the universe. If one could somehow stop it, time itself would halt in its tracks. But that would destroy all living things. All living things, bar the master of time itself. And where do we fit into your mad schemes? The clock can only be stopped by a burst of energy great enough to shatter the foundations of the universe. A burst of pure energy X, you mean? By sending a string of second-rate simpletons against you, I gather the data I needed to determine which of you had the highest concentration of energy X. I won't help you. Oh, but you will. You will indeed. He's taken him through the temporal barrier. What's going on? He must be sending us through time. But to when? Um, how do you guys feel about the Mesozoic era? All right, so the Ant and Manbot are unavailable. Uh, let's grab El Diablo, because he fly. I like the flyers. The flyers are nice. Um... Go ahead and grab Minuteman, because he's tough. Uh, let's see, 
Man of War. Got Eve, got Bullet, Liberty Lad, Sea Urchin, Microwave is too slow, Bullet, no, Alchemist, I think Alchemist can fly, or at least Love Mentor can fly a bit. Uh, let's do Liberty Lad. With their base and a good chunk of the city transported millions of years through time, the team regroups long enough to figure a way out of their current predicament and to free Manbot from Time Master's clutches. You've been nipping at DDT, Ant Boy? Somebody get this kid a psychiatrist. He's gone loco. You got any better ideas? So we just lay these beacons you created in the designated locations. Just look for the giant crystals, like the one by the base. They'll act as amplifiers. Let me just make sure I got this straight. We place three beacons where you say, when they're all placed, you'll be able to amplify the Freedom Force communications rig to send an SOS forward through time? Yes. To the future? Exactly. To be received by Lord Dominion and the Domain? Uh-huh. Now, maybe this was a different Freedom Force I remember, but didn't we just stop Lord Dominion and his flunkies from trashing Patriot City? Hold, Diablo. Remember what Praetor said. Let us see if you can hold together the timelines with your bare hands. The Domain knew of Time Master and of his plans. If Time Master succeeds, all are doomed. Time Master must have been hidden out at the museum. And that's where he must have retrieved the artifact to summon Pan. The Domain were only trying to destroy the Frankenstein monster they had created. And they might be the only ones who know how to stop Time Master. I know I'm gonna regret this, but what are we waiting for? Alright, well, I guess we got back from the prehistoric time. Um... Oh, or it's adjacent to us. So the chunk of city was sent. Okay, okay. We got an experience bonus there. Let's check out this section. We're like surrounded by it. There's health there. Energy bonus. All right, it's a pretty decent sized map from the looks of it. Alrighty, um... Alright, I can go ahead and call it here. It's getting late where I'm recording. Um, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate that as well. I have been Sir Joseph. You guys have been amazing. Until next time, stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you later.